Now we've wired it up into the Pi face. So we've got on this end, uh, on the input side, we've connected it to where that LED voltage was coming from. So that's gone into um, input 6. And then the switch has gone into the relay on that side. So that's the relay 0, I guess. Um, so the code to read from the uh, from the input dead simple. So we're just printing it out, and if we exit that and look at the input, it's currently one. And if we manually turn the system on, okay, so the LED is on. Run that again. Now it's gone to zero. So we know we're going to be able to read the state of the LED that way. Okay, so the system's still on. And let's just have a look at the code for the relay. So dead simple again. Write in to relay zero, turn it on, sleep, and then turn off. There we go. I'll we'll fire that up again. repeated calls and you can hear it. So we read the current state. Zero, so we know that's on. Kind of gone all the way around, but still. And relay. Uh, see, this isn't 100% reliable, but that's where we're going to go. Go and check the uh, the input. It may be that we need to increase that delay of how long the relay is switched on. So in here we might need to bring this up to oops, 0.2 seconds. Again, seems quite reliable now. Like the little light that goes on the pie face at the same time. Just simulating that button click using the relay.